hey what's up in today's video uh, somebody asked me to create uh, add a feature to a chat application that we built uh, there is a playlist uh, named building chat application with laravel push uh, laravel pusher and view so in this video we'll be adding a feature to attach uh, files as well so before we were just uh, able to send text messages now what we can do is we can attach uh, files or images and just send it to somebody yeah like so also uh, we will be uh, we are now able to uh, react or sorry yeah send these emojis okay like so so we'll be adding these two feature today so let's get started first thing first uh, currently our message and we are storing all messages in messages table so we got these fields user id message and we need one extra field to store the image right so uh, it is it is not that difficult it is like simple image upload so uh, let's add one extra field uh, let's call it image uh, you can you can uh, add it here and run let's add it here. you can add it add that like image let's make it nullable also make sure you make it message also nullable so while we uh, upload image uh, we are not storing any text message so this message will just store the text message all right so after that is done just run PSP artisan migrate fresh all right so once you run this it will yeah, create that field so it is totally fine for development purpose if you are on production or if you already have a lot of data just add new migration and name it add some field to that so i've done that i've created a migration called yeah here so just create new migration and add that image field uh, separately so if you have already a lot of data go that way otherwise this will do just fine all right so for now i have already added that so once you edit uh, the image field uh, what we will do is we'll create a form uh, like so so we'll create uh, some icon like this uh, and it will trigger this image upload for, uh, window all right so for that we'll uh, we can we can directly code that or we can use this component view upload component so it will make uh, our task easier and faster so we don't have to write all of the code so let's install that so copy it paste it into terminal so i've already installed uh, let's uh, if you have none if you haven't just wait for it to finish so once we pulled in this component, uh, we'll use it in our chat component. So chat.view. So chat.view is responsible for loading this page. And here we got footer to, uh, so this is whole thing is footer. We are adding, so we already got this form, but we'll add this so by the way i've added that here so so this part i've added so i've created uh, another div uh, and i've used that file upload component so if you need this file upload component in multiple places you can register it globally so let's register this component first let's go to app.js resources and then yeah here so first just import that require view upload component and then register that component as file upload so that we can use it here file upload all right so once register part is done we can now use this component here so it accepts some parameter like post action is where uh, this will post that uh, file that is just selected so this thing will just uh, create this 
and we have give uh, the ref so that we can reference it so input file will so we are just using this ref to uh, and make it active so this way it will just directly post it to this endpoint and also since we are doing post request we need csr app token so we are passing that as a header like so and this is simple attach file icon this icon so that's it now you are all done so everything uh, will be handled by this component behind the scenes so by the way uh, if you find it hard to understand this so what this is doing is uh, so refs is the view uh, variable which uh, contains all the ref uh, property and uh, on this property we are uh, making the active equals to true so when whenever the active becomes true it will send the file that you selected like so so suppose i have selected this so whenever i select double click it will automatically send the request all right so this that's why it is that's why we made it true so that it will directly submit that yeah so that's it so now we need to uh, so already we have already created created this message um, endpoint so if you go to route so we got this post messages we are sending this to this endpoint message controller let's go to there and i think store so uh, here we are checking if request contains file then we'll perform these action otherwise if it is a uh, simple text message we are doing yeah we are just creating that like we do uh, did before and then we are broad broadcasting it to pusher and then returning the response simple stuff so if there is file uh, we will first store it to chat folder uh, so we have created that so it is just like a simple image upload thing in Laravel nothing special for chat so inside yeah storage app public so here it will create a chat and store it here all right so it returns the name and then we are yeah saving all parameter like user id then file name and then receiver so if there is receiver we'll accept that as well so it will be helpful for private chat or you can skip that for now yeah okay so uh, this is it so our uh, post part is also done so that's all we need to submit it to save it to server so while displaying uh, what we are doing is uh, here so here we are looping through all of the messages from database and if message contains message which is the text message we are just displaying in this message all right this message and if message contains image then we are uh, displaying this image attribute all right so nothing much this is just displays text messages and this displays images and everything else is same so by the way here also we have provided some css just to yeah give it width and height yeah so that's it to attach the images all right so once we are done make sure to compi compile so i've run npm run watch so it is compiling all of the changes so let's test this uh, i am logged in with one user in this window and another user in this window let's refresh both so now let's send something to that let's send this cat image to this user see so it uh, appears on real time let's send uh, this to him there we go now let's uh, move on to next part which is uh, adding this emoji so for uh, this emoji i've uses uh, i've used this package emoji uh, mart view so this is pretty uh, popular and good so let's install this first and move on so these steps are similar just run it on your terminal so as always i've uh, already done it before so once it is done so once it is pulled in uh, let's 
go to our chat component again so in footer we'll add that icon so here i've added that icon just comment it yeah so this is part i added all right so i will just added a button and when someone clicks on that button so this is the icon which we uh, displayed here yeah so this is just a button so whenever uh, someone clicks on this button we are calling this method all right so let's go to this method i've defined it uh, just here below in a script tag on site methods yeah toggle emo so what this is doing is just making our uh, toggle uh, emo status, status true or false depending on how many time it clicks uh, for example if i click on this emo status is true and it will display this component if i click again it will just so this is just toggling we are making true and false all right so also emo status by default it will be false so that it won't be displayed uh when whenever page load okay so so by default it is false when someone clicks it becomes true and we get it there so after the, uh, this button is added we need to add this component right so this thing you might be wondering where it come from so it come from so since we installed it now we have access to the speaker uh, component yeah so i'm importing here so import picker from emoji mart view and register it as component so these two steps so here and uh, now picker i have used it here so you can uh, use it anywhere so i've uh, added so just above footer so it won't be dis uh, displayed by default so that yeah i've called it floating div i think yeah i've made it i uh, made it this position fix so that it won't it will be fixed whenever we scroll it won't go down all right so picker yeah so to display emoji you just need to add this component that's it so picker v if emoji status that we just defined so set so there are different set for if you change it to facebook it will display facebook uh, set so you can see in this documentation you'll get a lot of options yeah there are different set apple google twitter emoji messenger facebook all right so that's the picker and we are toggling that picker uh, from this button that's it so once that is done let's refresh so whenever we click on it it will display yeah that picker component which is here yeah there are a lot of options Alright. Yeah. So now we have done up to this step that we can toggle this. So next, what we need to do is whenever someone clicks on this any of uh, the emojis, we need to populate it here, right? So in this field. So this part we haven't handled yet. So this is pretty simple. So whenever someone clicks on uh, any of the emojis inside picker we are calling so whenever someone uh, selects something we are calling this on input method so on input uh, it will pass event e here so if no event we are returning false so what we are doing here is if there is uh, no message let's for now just comment this this dot image equals to this dot message dot e dot native so you might be wondering what this e uh, dot native is let me console log it first so let's console log e or you can call it event whatever you want so console log e yeah so whenever we select any of emoji it will pass uh, as this object so here are different uh, data about that yeah id name so if you see native it will contains the icon all right so this is what we needed so that's why we have done e dot native here so we are just attaching this to existing message all right so let's try it again so 
see I have not typed any message and if I select anyone yeah it is attaching with null alright so null dot it so if I add hello and then something yeah, it works perfectly fine but whenever I haven't typed anything and want to select it will say null yeah so that's why I've checked this if if no message then just message will be that native icon and if there is if there is a message then we are attaching it to existing message that's it so uh, that's all for this video hope you learned something from this video if you do please hit like and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video bye